What is going on guys, Bank Leader here, coming back at you with another video, and here we are today rebuilding the Oakland Raiders, soon to be Las Vegas Raiders. I almost wonder if we should fully relocate them during the course of this rebuild, I think that'd be kind of fun. Or maybe I'll save that for the realistic version of rebuilding the Oakland Raiders. This is of course fantasy style, where we do anything we can to get this team over the hump. And the Raiders are someone that I thought would come in and compete potentially for a Super Bowl spot. And it's not like they can't anymore, but I guess with injuries to Derek Carr and, um, you know, Amari Cooper not really playing all that well, their offense hasn't been getting going. Their defense has been poor. They have a number of holes and a number of positions. And the Raiders, at the time of me recording this, are 2-4, and four, which is no good. <laughs> you don't want to be under 500, especially by two games this early in the season. But here we are, you know, the top three playmakers on the team. As far as overall goes, we have Khalil Mack, Rodney Hudson, and Donald Penn. But you have other top guys on the roster that I mentioned previously, like Amari Cooper, like Michael Crabtree. I mean, you have Jared Cook now coming over from the Green Bay Packers and the defensive side of the ball. You have some really young, good players. I swear to God, my phone. Gary and Conley was drafted uh, in this past season by Ohio State. Nope, from Ohio State uh, by the Raiders. They have some players. Just, we're going to try to get them little bit better in a position to win the Super Bowl and I think they can compete for that year one so I guess let's go ahead and get into this so this is of course the starting roster we got our franchise quarterback Derek Carr which is something that we really haven't had for a lot of these other rebuilds for the future Marshawn Lynch is on the team we're probably gonna look to upgrade the running back position whether we trade Marshawn or not I'm not sure Jalen Richard um, is also on the team. He's a decent backup running back. We just don't really need him. Of course, you have Michael Crabtree, Mark Cooper, Seth Roberts we can upgrade. Of course, Cordero Patterson, same deal. Maybe get another receiver in the mix. Offensive line, I think, is a huge strength of this team. Donald Penn needs to be traded, though. He's 35, 34, soon to be 35. Uh, we have Colicchio Semley, though, Rodney Hudson, Gabe Jackson, all three really, really talented interior offensive linemen. I think they're great. Marshall Newhouse is not awful. He's also not good. I think I'm going to start Vidal Alexander over him, the LSU guard, I guess, now converted tackle. He's, he was a good player at uh, LSU. He's going to be good. We're going to start him at right tackle. Maybe we trade Marshall Newhouse. Maybe we cut him. I'm not sure. Jared Cook is good, um, but a little bit older. I think I can still probably get some trade value for him, even though he is 30, and uh, start Clive Walford at tight end. Defensively, Reggie Nelson needs to go. He actually, I think, is 34. Yeah, he's 34. That's a no to no can do. We also have Bruce Irvin. I've moved Navarro Bowman onto the Raiders roster. It's just a couple of hours ago by the time I'm recording this. He signed with the Raiders to stay in the Bay Area. Um, but, like, this linebacking core is so poor. I remember last year we had Jihad Ward come out as a superstar when we did that. Maybe we try to uh, repeat history and actually play him somewhere. Khalil Mack, of course, at left outside linebacker. Carl Joseph, the young, upstanding up and coming, strong safety, uh, formerly out of West Virginia. He was so sick at West Virginia. I think he started as a freshman too. He was pretty awesome. With the cornerbacks, you have TJ Carey, David Emerson, Sean Smith needs to go. Gary Conley is absolutely going to start on the defensive line. I think Mario Edwards can be really can be really good. Justin Ellis, I think, has talent. Eddie Vander does. I don't really uh, know what to do with him. He was really, really highly recruited out of high school, if I remember, but I think injuries held him back. We're currently in a 4-3 with Khalil Mack kind of as a 4-3 uh, linebacker, 4-3 outside linebacker, which I don't want. I'm going to change this system to a 3-4. I think it fits a 3-4 personnel much better with Khalil Mack rushing the passer with Bruce Irvin kind of being that hybrid outside linebacker role with Mario Edwards as a 3-4 defensive end. Justin Ellis can play nose. I think Andy Vander does. Eddie is uh, more of a 3-4 defensive end as well. So, like, this team is not talentless by any means. Jihad Ward, I don't even know what to do with him, man. He's kind of a tweener in, in some ways. Not like not really. He has he has a lot of good weight, but what do we do with him? He's very, very slow. Might start him at left end. Franchise just crash. Nice. Game froze. Cool. That's also right. Alden Smith exists. <laughs> totally forgot him. Slow development. I need to trade him if anyone wants him. Kind of doubt they do. Also, Obi Melifon was not injured. I just had to come back in, and now there are new players that are healthy that exist. Jamiz Olawale is in there. I don't know if we saw him before. He's a beast. Jeez, okay. We have new potential now. Just, <laughs> just Alden Smith. Just he's trade value. That's all he is. 
With this first trade, I'm trading Donald Penn, Alden Smith, and a third round pick this year for Bobby Wagner from the Seattle Seahawks. The main flaw that I can really think of on the Raiders defense is middle linebacker. They need a middle linebacker so badly. They signed Navarro Bowman. He's not the answer there. He's 30. He's just going to be good for this season, if even that. Um, and we are giving up a third round pick, which is pretty valuable. But I think Bobby Wagner, a 96 overall middle linebacker, one of the top linebackers overall in the NFL. I think he is probably only behind Luke Keekley for best inside linebacker. So B Wags is a great player to get. And um, I think it's a pretty good trade for us. Donald Penn, 34 years old, Alton Smith. I don't even need to talk about <laughs> his issues. Walking into LAX saying, I have a bomb. Like, are you out of your mind? And the answer is clearly yes. He's insane. He's such an idiot. But a pretty good trade for us as we get another sick defensive player to pair with Khalil Mack and some other good guys on our team, hopefully. With this trade, I'm trading Navarro Bowman, Marshawn Lynch, and a second round pick for T.Y. Hilton. I am giving up some value here. Marshawn Lynch, I'm not too worried about. Same thing with Navarro Bowman. The second round pick is really the only thing that I'm like, do I really want to give this up? But I think T.Y. Hilton um, is a very talented slot receiver. He is probably the highest rated slot receiver in the game, so he's going to be a great addition to our team. We now have a killer trio of receivers for Derek Carr to throw to in Amari Cooper, Michael Crabtree, and now T.Y. Hilton. Really great group of guys. And I think maybe I go after a running back now? I don't, I don't even know. I want some picks still. Maybe I'll try and trade for some of those. With this trade, I'm trading Bruce Irvin, Sean Smith, and a third round pick next year for a first and second rounder from the New York Jets. The reason I'm doing this, Bruce Irvin, while he's still, I think, a decent player, especially in real life, he's only an 80 overall in the game. He's 29 years old. He is going to be approaching 30, you know, within a year. Who? Great math. So he's going to be on the wrong side of 30 really, really quickly. I don't want that at all. Sean Smith is in a similar boat. They're both around an 80 overall. That regression is going to hit. I don't think either of them have any room to progress. And Sean Smith, I don't think, is even good in real life at all. The third round pick, I think, is a little bit more value than I would have liked to give up. Uh, I think a fourth this year would have gotten it done, but I don't have that. So I had to work with what I had. So I think a first and second round pick are more than enough value to trade for. So we're dismantling a few pieces of the team, but I think uh, we're going to make it up for it in a big way with some of the players that we end up drafting and, and more players that we end up trading for either with these picks or other players on the team. With this trade, I'm trading Marshall Newhouse, a sixth round pick this year and a fourth next year for a first round pick from the Denver Broncos. I think I'm coming up to the end of what trades I can make because I don't have a ton of picks. I don't have a ton of players with value. No one wants Reggie Nelson, surprise, surprise. No one's trying to trade for a 34 year old free safety who is a 76 overall. I tried though, just, just no one no one wants him. I'd like to start Obi Melifonwu at strong safety, so I'm probably going to do that. But like looking down the rest of this team, there's not a whole ton of trade value. Maybe I'll try to get rid of Markel Lee. Maybe trade Eddie Vander does. I mean, he has value to me. I just, I don't know if he's a long-term starter. I don't think he is. Trade a tackle, maybe. With this trade, I'm trading Eddie Vander does, TJ Carey, and Markel Lee to the Packers for Devontae Adams. I didn't I don't, like, I don't even know how this trade kind of happened. It's just like, I don't know. I didn't realize Devonta Adams would be an 89 overall. I'd probably put him somewhere around an 86. And he's one of the top wide receivers in the game, rating-wise. Uh, not like in the upper 90s or anything, but he's like very close to a 90 overall, clearly. Again, tremendous math ability being showcased by me in this video. But, you know, Eddie Vander does. He's too low of an overall. Same thing with Mark Hill Lee. I don't really see them developing all that well over the course of the rebuild. I think get better players. And then TJ Carey, he's 27. He's only an 81 overall. We have other cornerbacks in place with David Amerson and Gary and Conley, who I think can develop to be better. And we can always replace and get a different nickel cornerback. So TJ Carey doesn't have all that much value to me personally. And then we have Devontae Adams, which means I have a window to trade Michael Crabtree, who is uh, 29 years old decent contract on him i don't really need him so i feel like i have a perfect opportunity now to trade him to a team in need of a wide receiver which is probably a lot of teams uh who will have interest in michael crabtree i'm in all right michael crabtree denver kirkland and a sixth round pick is going to get me a one and a three from the cincinnati Bengals. they're usually pretty trash in sim which means that could be a really high overall first round pick i'm talking like top 10 top five even but i think this is going to be the team for season number one we've built down a little bit 
but I don't think anything too major. I've kept Jared Cook. I plan on trading him next season, provided he doesn't regress too much. It's kind of a gamble. I think he might regress to an 83, which isn't terrible. Hopefully someone wants him. And then on the defensive side of the ball, we obviously uh, traded for Bobby Wagner, who I think is a huge, huge um, increase to our team. Reggie Nelson, I'm just going to cut. Uh, so by Reggie Nelson. Obi Melifanwu will start at free safety. I'm going to do that manually. And here's the defensive line. Mario Edwards Jr. is going to play right end. Jihad Ward is going to start at left end, which means I'm actually just going to move to Nico Autry. You play middle linebacker now. That's just what you play. I mean, you're not good. You definitely can't play that. You're going to play actually left outside linebacker. All right, there goes Obi Melifanwu. He is my long-term plan at free safety. I need him to develop well. But this is the team. You guys saw the offense. Now you've seen the defense. I'm super excited to get into it. Let's go ahead and simulate, and I will see you guys at the midseason mark. All right, so at the midseason mark, we are 6-2. and two. Devontae Adams is a free agent. We're going to have to bring him back. And um, we are sitting atop the AFC West. Chiefs are 2-6. and six. Chargers 3-5. and five. Broncos 4-3. and three. But again, we are 6-2. and two. Let's go ahead and bring back Devontae Adams. See who else a free agent um, is... Sebastian Janikowski, Justin Ellis. No one really too major. Giorgio Tavecchio. Hmm. I'm going to bring back these top two fellows. I'm not sure about Justin Ellis just yet. All right, so we brought back both Devontae Adams and Sebastian Janikowski. I'm going to hold off on Justin Ellis. We'll see how much, uh, you know, how many points he has for development. Because right now, I just don't really have a huge interest in him. Don't really want him. But if he develops and gets a ton of points, I don't mind paying him a little extra money after upgrading. Dolphins are 7-1. and one. Okay, see you at the playoffs. All right, so somehow we finished 10-6 and six after starting out 6-2. and two. Not a huge fan of that. I thought we were going to head for, you know, 12-4 and four or something fun. No, we still win the division, though. Let's go ahead and see how that happens. Stats, Derek Carr, 4,168 yards. He also had 25 touchdowns, 10 interceptions, rushing. Jalen Richard rushed for over 1,000 yards, 11 touchdowns, and DeAndre Washington, 16 touchdowns as the backup. Interesting. <laughs> Receiving T.Y. Hilton over 1,000 yards, only one touchdown. Amari Cooper had 11 touchdowns. What an odd stat line for all my receivers. Blocking 29 sacks allowed by David Sharp. Interesting. Defensively, Bobby Wagner led our team in tackles with 115. Tackles for loss, 11 from the sack attack from the silver and black Khalil Mack, who also had nine and a half sacks. Eight for Mario Edwards Jr. Interceptions, we have four from David Emerson, three for both Bobby Wagner and Obi Melifonwu. Hopefully, that is enough to win him Defensive Rookie of the Year, although I fear that it will not be. Forced fumbles, no one had more than one. Same deal with fumble recoveries. Any defensive touchdowns, I see one. That's all we got. Demetrius McCray, the former Jaguar, getting that. Drew Brees wins MVP of the seven and nine Saints. Again, interesting. Hey, Leonard Fournette, Andy Dalton, what is going on? And the Bengals actually did fairly well. AFC Offensive Player of the Year is to Tom Brady. I don't see any Raiders. Actually, Derek Carr is down there. Defense Player of the Year, Jerry Hughes. Khalil Mack at number 10, Offensive Rookie of the Year. Goes to Leonard Fournette, no Raiders. Show me a Defensive Rookie of the Year. Damn it. Goes to Carl Lawson. Gary and Conley at 7. Obi Abelifonwu at 8. Eight. That's rough. Would have been some XP. Would have been some development traits. Would have liked that. At Raiders Stadium. Okay. Against the Bengals. To make it to the divisional round. Please. I want a higher draft pick. No, I don't. <laughs> I mean, I guess I get a higher draft pick from my first round pick. Here is we signed Johnny Maxey, aka ASAP Rocky in disguise. I don't know what the deal with that is. Jeez, dude. That is unfortunate. First round elimination from the Bengals. How does that even exist? Justin Ellis has 15,000 points of experience. AKA experience points. Why did I say that so oddly? I'm going to re-sign him. He's good depth, if anything. Let's go ahead and bring Justin Ellis back. I think it's my last chance to do so. Yeah, Justin Ellis returns. Okay. Cool. I wonder if Drew Brees is going to be free agent. Probably. He always seems to be in free agency. There he is, Spencer Ware. Interesting. They gave him an 87 overall, or at least that's how he progressed. I also see Jeremy Hill, Jarek McKinnon down there. I wonder if I have any interest there. I don't know. I kind of... 
I might stick with what I have for right now. Maybe draft a running back? I don't know. Time for the NFL draft. Welcome to prime time. Okay, whatever. Let's calm down with the voices. Let's get into the draft. We have the second overall pick. I'm down. We also have the... The... Okay, thank you. 19th and 23rd, as well as the 29th pick in the first round. We have the 34th pick. We have any other seconds? Doesn't appear so. Okay. I'm definitely trading down. I can get so much value for this pick. There's no reason to stick with it. Uh, do I trade down with the Colts or the Browns? Interesting. So the Colts are offering me their first rounder this year as well as a second. But they're also offering me a first rounder next year. So if they are still awful, I'll get a sick pick. But the Browns, on the other hand, are offering me two first round picks this year and a fourth. I'm going to pass. We're going with Indy. And now I'm trading down this pick for the Saints first round of next year. They have no Drew Brees, I'm confident. We're also picking up a second and a third. I think these picks are going to be extremely valuable for us down the road. So here we are. I think we're going to take our first pick of the draft. All right, so I plan on taking two running backs in this draft with high picks. Either we draft and trade or we draft and just have two quality ones. It depends how this works out. The first one is Aaron Locke out of Penn State. He has good top three skills. His combine worries me. He's not particularly fast. He's fairly agile, but not crazy agile. He's kind of strong. He's kind of like a do-it-all kind of back, you know, a jack-of-all-trades, master of none. Aaron Locke, welcome to the team. 80 overall, normal development, 87 speed. 92 excel, 90 carrying, 86 ball carrier vision, 87 juke move, can't spin, can't stiff arm. He has trouble getting stiff in the bedroom, especially his wife complains. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Trucking. He'll never make it on ice road truckers. These are bad. These are bad jokes. With this pick, I'm taking Maurice Hobbs, a run stopper out of Michigan State. And we know how well Michigan State linebackers turn out in the NFL. Give you a minute to think of any. Not really any, but we're going to take it. He's not fast at all, right? But he's very agile, extremely quick, strong too. Top three skills are ideal. And I plan on playing him at middle linebacker. I think he's actually going to be a very good player. I'm going to guess between 79 and 81. Missed it. All right, 78 overall for our scheme because we're in a 3-4. He's a much better overall. As you see, he's number 21 in the draft. We drafted him at 23. 80 speed isn't even that bad. 87 tackle, 88 block shot, 86 hit power. Very talented player. I'm in on him. Good middle linebacker to have. We're going to move him over there. And with this pick, I'm between two. Sherman Frederick out of Notre Dame or Michael Harmon out of Tennessee. He would volunteer to be picked while Sherman Frederick would fight to be picked. All right. Um, I don't know what to do, though. Sherman Frederick is a little bit faster, extremely quick and extremely agile, decently strong. His top three skills are pretty good. A minus the looseness, B plus carrying, B spin move. And then we look at Michael Harmon. Better looseness, same carrying, but a little bit worse spin move. A little bit faster, not as agile or quick. I think I'm going to go with Sherman Frederick out of Notre Dame. 80 overall, he's ranked 18 in the draft. We took him at 29. We have a good group of backs now in Sherman Frederick in uh our first round running back the other one so we drafted two first round running backs i know crazy but i think it's going to work out well for us i'm done with jalen richard i'm done with anybody else those are our two backs now i'm gonna trade these next two picks down for first rounders let's go with the patriots without tom brady i hope i really hope if they have tom brady that's not going to be that valuable pick and then with the 37th pick, I'm going to trade down with the Cincinnati Bengals again. I'm going to hope they suck. With this pick, though, I'm taking Paul Washington, a run-blocking right tackle out of Western Kentucky. Go Hilltoppers! Got guys like Forrest Lamp coming out of there, and now he's paving the way for even better offensive linemen to potentially come out. Paul Washington, please... 79 overall. He's ranked number 11 in the draft. We took him at 51. 88 strength, 88 run block, 76 pass block, 86 impact blocking. I would say a fairly good pick there. <laughs> Pretty good. We're going to play him at left tackle. 
I'm very happy with that pick, actually. And this is just a, a pick for depth, I think. Do we have a fourth runner? I have a later third. I'm going to pick him, actually, in a minute. There's no one really good left in the draft, at least in these mid-rounds, so I'm just going to trade down. I'll take a second next year. Now, I don't think this player is going to be particularly good. I think he's going to be okay, and that's kind of what I'm going for. Um, wow. Okay. Interesting. <sighs> Interesting pick. <laughs> he's ranked number four in the entire draft. 90 speed, 89 man, 84 press, 93 excel, 90 agility. I didn't expect this. He has slow development. Interesting. We're... Oh, wow, okay. With my last pick, I'm going to take Morris Simpkins in the seventh round. He's ranked number 156. We took him at 215. Decent player. I think I forgot to talk over this pick. Nash Brewer is also someone we drafted in the fourth round. 73 overall, really not bad. I think this was a pretty good draft. We have three players 80 overall or higher. We have two that are very close to an 80. And then we have all 70s. So, I mean, like, this is a pretty good draft over seven rounds. Drafted two running backs, though. Who's going to start? I don't know. So we're going to go ahead and advance to the next week. We give a ton of coach XP. I'm going to use that because we're actually making a push for the Super Bowl now with some, some of these draft picks, some of these players that I can trade. I think we are in a very, very good position to succeed. Jared Cook only dropped to an 85. We do have some XP, so we can get that up even a little bit more. This is a very talented team. I upgraded Jalen Richard. He was the only one that I've touched so far. And then defensively, we do have a decent amount of XP for a decent number of players. I'm excited. I think this is going to be a very good season. I think we have a lot of potential with a lot of these players. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade and uh, see you guys after I do that. And then we're going to get into some more trading before starting season number two officially. I guess I, I guess we already have, but I mean simulation and things like that. All right, this is the team after upgrading. Nothing major has happened other than the fact that I just want to trade Jalen Richard still. I want to go on the defense side of the ball. I'm going to keep Hobbs at right outside linebacker. He's fine. Obi Malafon was up to an 80. David Amerson actually had 40k XP because he made the Pro Bowl. He's up to an 85. On the defensive line, Justin Ellis went up one overall from 15k XP. So that's, that was pretty cool. I was happy about that. For this trade, I'm trading Jalen Richard, DeAndre Washington, and a third round pick for Dante Hightower from the New England Patriots. He's going to come in immediately and start at right outside linebacker, which means I can push. Um, fuck. What's his name? Maurice Hobbs inside to play middle linebacker. Hopefully he's decent enough at the position. So our two halfbacks are going to be Sherman Frederick and Aaron Locke. I don't care who starts. Doesn't matter to me. I'm going to try to trade Connor Cook as backups for, for pussies. And um, who is that? Zach Sanchez? It is. Awful. All right. Pretty big trade. Connor Cook is going to Cleveland. Sorry, your career wasn't going anywhere anyway. We might as well kill it. Um, and we're trading, a, I mean, a first-round pick. I have more of those, so it doesn't really matter. And uh, Miles Garrett is the new member of the Oakland Raiders. Decent player to have. <laughs> this team is looking just absolutely disgusting now. It's going to be so good. Jihad Ward, this is not Madden 17 or 16 or whenever you were sick for me in a rebuild. So, apologies. You are off the team. Actually, no, you can stay on the team. You're just not... You're not going to play. I actually decided that Dante Hightower is going to play middle linebacker instead of outside linebacker. So, this is the team. I think it looks pretty disgusting overall. It's not exactly where I want it to be yet, but it's really, really close. Offensive line is going to develop over time. Zal Alexander has normal, not quick. That's unfortunate. But I think this new tackle we drafted, Paul Washington is going to end up being pretty disgusting. I keep saying that word, but like, I do mean it. Let's go ahead and simulate to the midseason mark, see how we're doing, and even if we don't do all that well this season, which I think we will, we have picks. We're going to either trade for some sick players, or we're going to draft some even better players eventually. Maybe that's not accurate, but we're going to trade them for really talented players. This is a rebuild. This is a success. This is a success. If Sim doesn't screw me over, like this is a Super Bowl team. Easy over like either this year or next year or even in year four if we go that far so we're three and four 
I don't know how that happens. Just got crushed by the Chiefs. That's fun. Khalil Mack is a free agent. Number one priority. We're bringing back Khalil Mack. There's not even a question. Franchise just freeze? <laughs> great. Fucking EA, dude. Great company. Makes a great game. Never any issues with it. We're back, though. Amari Cooper, also a free agent. Jameez Olawale. I didn't trade Jared Cook yet. Oh, I can't even do that now. So I brought back uh, Clive Walford, Mario Edwards, Jameez Olawale, Amari Cooper, and Khalil Mack. I've really screwed up with Jared Cook here to the point of where, like, I can't trade him because the trade deadline has passed, and I'm not going to turn that off. And Clive Walford, Walford needs to get XP, so I'm going to start him over Jared Cook. God, we're not even going to make the playoffs maybe this year. So I'm going to save and not um, upgrade anyone. I'm just going to get him more XP by spending coach XP. I need Dave, actually not David. <laughs> I need Derek Carr to get up. So I'm going to buy a QB training boost. That's the most important thing. But other than that, I guess I'm going to scout and then simulate to the playoffs. All right, so clearly we didn't make the playoffs. Six and ten. Wow. How does that happen? Matt Stafford wins MVP. Like, what happens in these? I swear, Derek Carr didn't really perform all that well. I don't know how you even got snaps at all. Pretty elite, to be fair. Rushing. What an odd season. Man, that's, that's odd. Uh, receivers, though, had a lot of yards. Mari Cooper, T.Y. Hilton both had uh, a ton of yards, over 1,000. One off from double-digit touchdowns. They both had nine. As far as quarterback sacks go, Paul Washington let up 30. Dal Alexander let up 15. That's an issue. Bobby Wagner led our team in tackles with 131. Holy shit, I just saw Miles Garrett's sack total. Tackle for loss was 15 with Miles Garrett. He had 22 and a half quarterback sacks, tying the record for sacks in a season. Khalil Mack only at eight. What if I move Khalil Mack down to left end? Why is this team performing like it's a 4-3? I don't know what's going on. Interceptions, five from Emerson, four for Carl Joseph. Rookie Demarcus Doyle had two. I don't even know. I had to change some positions around. And, I don't know, maybe we'll have more success. Defensive touchdowns, David Amerson, house one. Yearly awards, Matt Stafford, of course, wins MVP. AFC Offensive Player of the Year, Big Ben. Any Raiders, Derek Carr at 10. Defensive Player of the Year, Justin Houston. Miles Garrett at 7. It's interesting, despite breaking the record for sacks in a season. Or tying it, excuse me. Offensive Rookie of the Year does go to Aaron Locke, though. Our starting running back. Uh, Frederick was there at number four. Defensive rookie of the year, Joey Morris and Maurice Hobbs just missed. Demarcus Doyle just missed. That sucks. But we do have offensive rookie of the year. That's actually a pretty big one. Because if you see, he's going to have 28k XP. And now he has quick development. That's pretty big. He has no confidence. Damn, this team... I'm much less confident now. <laughs> I am much... What the fuck? Hold on, so, uh, excuse my language. I saw 79 KXP, and I'm like, what in the world? NFL sacks leader, defensive lineman of the year, got 10 sacks, which was his goal. He made the Pro Bowl. Oh, my God. Defensive player of the week. This was a pretty good decision to trade for him, I have to say. Oh, yeah, that's right. Jameez Olawale declined my offer. Probably, I don't know. Yeah, we'll bring him back. Why not? Let's just increase everything. Anyone good in free agency? Vic Beasley. Vic Beasley would fill a need. Kind of? He would kind of fill a need. Huge offer from the Redskins. I'm not really in position to uh, to offer him anything close to that. Ooh, this is interesting, actually. Only 26 years old is Daryl Williams. He's pretty good. I don't want to sign him, though. I think I'm going to just hold off. I'm just going to hold off. Here we are in the NFL draft. Well, we're not there yet, but we almost are. Here we are. All right, we don't even have a top 10 pick. I lied. We have nine. We also have 11, 14, 17. I have a lot of picks is the point. Debatably too many. All right, I only have three players I'm kind of highly considering taking in the first round, which means I can trade this ninth pick because I have three more. So I want a defensive tackle. The defensive tackle class is not fantastic. 
I want to go after a defensive tackle. If I find a good defensive tackle that I like, I want to look for a decent age. I'm thinking probably um, younger than 29 or 28 and probably above an 87 overall. Timmy Jernigan would fit the bill quite well. Brady Jarrett would also. He's kind of a beast. DeForest Buckner is actually at the top of my list right now. So with this trade, I'm trading the ninth overall pick, Seth Roberts in a fifth for DeForest Buckner, 92 overall defensive tackle. He's played so well for the 49ers this year. It's unreal. He's been the real bright spot of their entire team. And now I want to make the most of my team, make the most out of these picks. I want a wide receiver. I think I can take one in the second round. I didn't really scout any at all. So I'll be shooting in the dark. So I might just end up trading for one. But with his first pick, I'm taking Raphael Hall out of Tennessee. Great top three skills, insane combine, incredibly fast and strong, great agility, his athleticism is off the charts. Raphael Hall, 80 overall, quick development, 87 speed, 87 tackle, 83 block shed, hit power, pursuit, 80 power move. He can literally do it all, quick development as well. Fantastic pick, really, really happy to add him. And my next two picks are gonna be outside linebackers. Alien, Gato, Alien, Alien? Are you a fucking alien? This dude, this pick is out of this world. 79 overall. Again, he's ranked higher than that in overall, because look at him. Sixth in the draft. We took him at 14. 84 speed, 86 tackle, 87 block shot, 86 hit power, 78 power move, 83 pursuit. He's an absolute beast. Quick development as well. This draft has been going well so far. And uh, my next pick is also going to be an outside linebacker, as I mentioned. Asad Connor out of Nebraska. This was a very interesting player. I really, really wanted to get him as soon as I saw him because I'm like, those top three skills are exactly what I look for. Really, I've never seen any better with like how well balanced he is. B plus hit power, B plus block shedding, B plus finesse move. He was ranked in the top five of the draft. He was number three. And I'm like, there's no way I'm gonna be able to draft this guy if I don't have the picks up that high. And then all of a sudden he's a second round guy. I think he's still a top five talent. Just because his combine wasn't great, I don't care. It still wasn't even bad. He's still fast. He's still strong. He's still quick. Asad Connor, 79 overall. Again, it's not even 79. It's much higher. Ranked number two in the draft. We took him at 17, 86 speed. Great block shed, great hit power. Amazing at rushing the passer. Finesse move, power move at 86 and 84, respectively. 84 pursuit. He's an absolute beast. Only normal development, but like, he's already kind of insane. With this trade, trading two second round picks for Marvin Jones, I don't know why the Lions didn't really want him, but I think it's a pretty good player to have as your fourth best wide receiver on a team. So just another weapon for Derek Carr if he gets into the game, and I'm sure he will in certain packages. So I think very successful draft overall. We have a bunch of players we can plug in and play, and I got to decide what the scheme is going to be because I, we're, I'm just getting odd results with, uh, with Miles Garrett recording so many sacks on the inside and Khalil Mack not really putting up insane numbers. I'm not sure what to do. This is gonna be the defense. I plan on trading Mario Edwards Jr. But other than that, I think we're pretty much set. I'd like a fourth corner. I think I could trade Mario Edwards for some kind of a fourth corner near an 80 overall. And the offensive line is somewhat poor. I'd like to improve, but I'm not sure that I can. I am gonna upgrade though. So I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade these players. You guys will see how it goes. So this is the team. Derek Carr, despite having superstar development, is not getting as much XP as I'd like him to get. He's not performing as well as I'd like him to perform, which means he's only at an 88 overall. The offensive line is somewhat weak, especially on the bookends. The receiving core, I mean, I, I put together quite a receiving core. He should be able to manage. Defensively, however, I think we're in a really good spot. Khalil Mack now plays left end. I could upgrade at cornerback quite easily. Obi Melifanwu is progressing. Same thing with Carl Joseph. And we have a couple rookie linebackers. However, I have to decide what I want to do with Dante Hightower after drafting this rookie middle linebacker in Raphael Hall. I do want to start him. So I think I'm going to try and trade Dante Hightower and Mario Edwards Jr. as well as Justin Ellis, perhaps in three different trades to try and get maybe a better cornerback and some offensive line help and maybe a tight end. So I have some things to cross off before we start season number three. Got a lot of work to do. Miles Garrett also 98 overall, by the way. That's what 80K XP will do for you. With this trade, I'm trading for Marcus Peters. 
I know I'm giving up a lot of value in David Emerson and Dante Hightower, as well as a third round pick. I think Marcus Peters offers a ton of value. Otherwise, I would not have done this trade. 94 overall. He's young. He's just 26, maybe 27 uh, in this particular year. So he's super young, super talented, super good. 26 years old. Yeah, so this cornerback group just got a little bit better. And I think that's all I'm going to do for right now at cornerback. I'm fine with starting Raphael Hall. I need to get better on the offensive line. And I think I'm going to do that by trading Vidal Alexander, trading Mario Edwards Jr., and trading Justin Ellis, hopefully, to a team that's in need of all three of these positions or just two, and upgrading heavily on the offensive line. I don't know. It just kind of happened. Justin Ellis, Maurice Hobbs, who I don't even use anymore, and a six-round pick next year for Kareem Hunt, up to a 95 overall. He is clearly our new starting running back. And now I have even more trade pieces with Aaron Locke, who I don't need. Sher uh, Sherman Frederick can be my backup. Uh, so Aaron Locke can go. I can still trade whoever I didn't. So Mario Edwards traded Justin Ellis. Who else can I trade? I think that's kind of it. Let me get an offensive lineman, please, somewhere. With this trade, I'm trading Aaron Locke, Mario Edwards Jr., and a second-round pick for Jake Matthews from the Falcons. 89 overall left tackle. He's going to be a great player for us. And now I, I feel like I am in a tough position where Vidal Alexander is not good enough. Um, Paul Washington is... Like, I can work with that, but also not really. I don't know. I feel like I should probably trade him. He's not really all that good. If the Falcons have someone that I can get... Like, I thought about Alex Mack. I don't know, man. I, I gotta... I gotta figure out something. Because I need better offensive linemen. That's gonna help Derek Carr. That's gonna help the entire team. We need the offensive line to perform well. With this trade, I'm trading Vidal Alexander and Marvin Jones as well as the third-round pick for Ronnie Stanley from the Baltimore Ravens, another really good young offensive tackle. We did end up giving up some value. I still have a first-round pick this year and next year, as well as a second round next year. I can get rid of those, I think, pretty easily. I'm still looking to upgrade. What did I even just trade? Finish wide receiver. I need to get a better backup fourth now. Not even a backup. I need a better fourth receiver. I need to address tight end. I'm still trying to trade Clive Walford. I'm trying to trade uh, Paul Washington. David Sharp, I'll trade to. So fuck it, I'll trade anybody. All right, Paul Washington and a first-round pick for Austin Hooper. 88 overall tight end, only 24 years old. That's our new starting tight end. And now I can go ahead, trade Clive Walford, trade Jalen Ware, why not? Um, I would like to upgrade at right guard. So if I can trade for a guard and, um, and move, I don't know, Gabe Jackson... Or move them, I don't know, just any guard and move them to right guard, we're fine. Titans could be an interesting option for us. No one is really that high of an overall. I was looking at maybe Quentin Spain, but I don't even see him on here. All right, Gabe Jackson in sixth gets me Joel Batonio from the Browns. The offensive line very much improved. That was my main goal of the offseason. Went ahead, did that. We got a bunch of rookies starting, a bunch of rookies. If I don't win a defensive rookie of the year, I'm going to be... Both surprised as well as pissed. Offensively, I think I think we're set. Like this is a high-powered offense. I even forgot we got Kareem Hunt. What am I doing out here? I need a I need a fourth receiver. That's what I need. So I can easily trade for one of those. I don't think that's going to be an issue at all. Traded for some Vikings rookie uh, with um, those two offensive linemen, Sharp and Chadlin Ware. We got Ross. I don't know what his name is. He's a rookie. Just in the, you know, Madden made him. He's an 82 overall. 24 years old. I think he's going to be a very good fourth for me. And this is going to be the offense, as you can see. I think it's extremely talented, especially with the addition of a lot of new players on this team. In that rookie, Ross. In Kareem Hunt. Austin Hooper. Ronnie Stanley. Joel Batonio. Jake Matthews. On the defense side of the ball, a bunch of new rookies. Connor. Asad Connor. Um, Raphael Hall. Aelion Gato. I don't ever remember that name. Cornerbacks are the one weak point. Defensive line sick. I think this is going to be an incredible team. I hope we do well. I think we're going to. I will see you at the midseason mark. Show me five wins at least. All right, six wins. Not bad. Not bad at all. I'm fine with that. I'm actually not even fine. I'm happy with that. I'm going to use some of my coach XP. I'm not going to touch the players just yet. I'm going to re-sign Bobby Wagner and whoever else is a free agent. Who else is here? 
we have DeForest Buckners. That's pretty big. Carl Joseph, Ronnie Stanley, Austin Hooper, Rodney Hudson. Okay. A lot of players. All right, we re-signed everyone except for Carl Joseph, who needs me to improve a couple things about that. I don't have a ton of cap room. I haven't gotten to this issue in any rebuild that I've done yet. I only have like three mil to bring back Carl Joseph. It could be pretty tough. Actually, you know what? I don't know why I wouldn't upgrade right now. I might as well just do it. Upgrade a little bit. And then uh, see you guys for the playoffs. You guys are going to see the team before we get there. But let me just go ahead and do a little bit of upgrading. Wow. Just saw, just saw the news on Twitter that the actor that played Jim Leahy, John Dunsworth, passed away. Which really, really sucks. I'm a huge Trailer Park Boys fan. If you guys don't know it, it's on Netflix. I recommend that you watch it. It's a hilarious show. Jim Leahy was undoubtedly my favorite character. Hilarious times, memories, and it's just that that sucks that that happened. Rip Jim Leahy. Rip John Dun John Dunsworth. That that sucks, man. All right, this is the upgraded team. It looks super super good. I'm excited for a really good season. I think this is a Super Bowl team, easy. Six and two. This has got to be 13 and three, 12 and four, 11 and five, somewhere in that range, team. If we drop and only win 10 games, I'm going to be pretty upset. But, you know, still upset over Mr. Leahy, Jim Leahy. Uh, everyone pour some out. Pour a little drinky poo out for Mr. Leahy. Holy shit, bottom left. I don't know if you guys can see that. We beat the Bears 56 0, went 12 and four. 56 nothing. R really bad. That's that's bad. 400, excuse me, 4,403 yards for Derek Carr passing. 32 touchdowns, 12 interceptions. Not crazy numbers. Rushing, Kareem Hunt. 1,300 yards, 5 touchdowns. Sherman Frederick, real vulture. 13 touchdowns. Receiving, T.Y. Hilton led our team in receiving yards with 1,300. 9 touchdowns. Amari Cooper also had double-digit touchdowns. Or not also, but he did. That's like a thing that happened with 10. He just missed out on 1,000 yards. So blocking, offensive line performed pretty well overall. Again, 16 sacks. It's just kind of ridiculous the way that works. Like he didn't really let up that many, I swear. Numbers are broken. Bobby Wagner led our team in tackles with 105. Tackles for loss, 17 from Miles Garrett, 15 from Khalil Mack. And look at this defensive end duo. 20 sacks from Miles Garrett, 17 for the sack attack from the silver and black Khalil Mack. Eight for rookie Assad Connor, five and a half for DeForest Buckner. Uh, Elion Gato had one and a half sacks. I don't get how like outside linebackers are not getting after the quarterback as much. It's just kind of strange to me. Force fumbles, one for Miles Garrett. We didn't even look at interceptions. Hold up. Interceptions, three from B-Wags, as well as Marcus Peters, Gary Conley, two from Carl Joseph, Demarcus Doyle, and Shalom Luani, the safety out of Washington State. Okay. Defensive touchdowns, one for Miles Garrett. Let the team. That's an interesting player to do it. Reggie Falk is the league MVP, the new quarterback of the Saints. Leonard Fournette at number two. Derek Carr at six. No other Raiders. AFC Offensive Player, the Offensive Player of the Year goes to Leonard Fournette. Derek Carr at four. Defensive Player of the Year goes to Ryan Shazier. Miles Garrett at four. Khalil Mack at nine. Offensive Rookie of the Year, Deron Rout of the Buffalo Bills. Any Raiders? Yeah. Matt Freeman, whoever you are. Defense Rookie of the Year. It's our time to shine. Really? Marquise Cunningham. Assad Connor comes in number two. Aileon Gato at number eight. Raphael Hall at number nine. How do we not do it, man? All right, I'm going to go ahead and let the CPU take care of this XP because there is a lot of it. Check out 38K, nearly 39 from Ronnie Stanley. Nothing too crazy on the defense side of the ball other than 24K for Miles Garrett, who probably got Defensive Lineman of the Year again. Yep. He did. Also made his second Pro Bowl. I was hoping those rookie uh, pass rushers would do more. Damn, who is that left tackle? Just randomly 30k XP, something like that? That's pretty wild. But, um, yeah, we have a first round bye. We have a sick team. I think this is the year. This is a Super Bowl year. This is such a good team. Look at rookie Raphael Hall, 85 overall. Gato's an 86. Even Asad Connor's an 85. This is, the, this is just such a good team. I have high hopes. All right, the 11-5 Los Angeles Chargers. The battle for California, even though the Raiders are moving. 
This could be loser moves out of California. All right, it's a pretty close game. We're down 14 to six though, nearing halftime, but it is now 14 to 13. Of course we missed an extra point because why wouldn't we? 16, 17, now 20 to 16. I might have to jump in here if we don't score. Down by one, please score. No, we don't. We lose 20 to 19 in the divisional. Are you kidding me? Let's do a final season. 99 offense, 99 defense. I'm telling you, this team is so good. I don't know how we didn't win. All right, Carl Joseph needs to get brought back. I actually do have a little bit of cap room, so I'm just going to increase everything. Bring back Carl Joseph, please. All right, Carl Joseph is back. Don't really care for Jihad Ward. Let's go to free agency. I don't think we're even going to have money for that. The draft is kind of irrelevant. I'm just ready for this fourth season. We're winning it all. Yeah, there's some good free agents. Just have absolutely no money to get any of them. All right, so I have a fourth round pick. I think that's pretty much it. I'm just going to take a random stab at in the dark. Keon Harrison looks horrific. What position do I even need? I'm an A at every single position on offense except for uh, fullback, and we have an A- minus at center. And on defense, defensive tackle's fine. I don't care what that says. It's pretty much only free safety. Let me take a shot. Nah. No. Defensive tackle, maybe, just to get some depth. Deontay Wolfolk. 71 overall. All right, don't take it. All right, here we go. This is the team. I think it's the team that's going to be it until the final, like, final week, final game. I don't know what I'm talking about. This is the final season regardless. I'd like to improve at cornerback. I'm going to go ahead and, I think, and cut some players. I want to make another trade, and I just don't currently have the funds to be able to do so. We are paying a lot of players a lot. This draft pick, I think I can cut him with no penalty, unless he was a draft pick this year, in which case that's definitely not possible. All right, you, gone. Doesn't even matter. You guys don't need to see this. I'm just going to cut some players. All right, somehow Artie Burns is a 90 overall. He's on the team that we're trading that left tackle that randomly at 30k XP. First round picking Clive Walford in order to acquire Artie Burns. Receiving core is kind of sick. I'll, I'm going to go set, uh, ahead and sign a backup tight end. All right, I don't have the money to sign a backup tight end. All right, easy trade. Shalom Luani, you know, Cook and Hester for Adam Shaheen. There's Chicago Bears. Decent backup for us. He's actually 79 overall. I'm surprised that trade went through, but let's go ahead, simulate straight through to the playoffs. This is a Super Bowl team. All right, we went ahead and um, have a first round buy, so clearly it's a good record, 12 and four in back-to-back -back years. Ton of coach XP, like nearly 7,000 in one season. Derek Carr, I would like to say showed improvement, 4,000 yards, 30 touchdowns, only six interceptions, rushing. Kareem Hunt was pretty good, <laughs> 1,200 yards, almost 1,310 touchdowns. Sherman Frederick had 19 touchdowns. He got in the game a lot. He had a really good season receiving. T.Y. Hilton, I, I'm saying the stats for receiving are so weird. Um, blocking, I guess those numbers are down. Bobby Wagner had a lot of tackles. Tackles for loss, 10 for DeForest Buckner, quarterback sacks, 19 and a half for Miles Garrett, 16 for Asad Connor, 15 from Khalil Mack. We're getting pressure. Interception, six from Marcus Peters. We didn't get that many overall. Forced fumbles, two for Marcus Peters, two for Miles Garrett. Now, Marcus Peters is going to get um, defensive back of the year. He just had such a sick season. I bet he did. I'm not even going to bother. Actually, I, I got to check awards. I got two. I got two. Yearly awards. Todd Gurley wins MVP. Really? Leonard Fournette at two. Le'Veon Bell at three. Where are the quarterbacks? Derek Carr at 10. Offense player of the year in the AFC goes to Le'Veon Bell. Kareem Hunt at number nine. Derek Carr was at four. Defense player of the year, Denzel Perryman. Miles Garrett at four. Side Connor at six. Khalil Mack at nine. Offensive rookie of the year, Stan Stanley Grigsby. No Raider, defensive rookie of the year. Clearly, no Raiders. All right, let's go ahead and upgrade these 35k XP. Holy, I'm just gonna let the CPU take care of it. We got a ton of XP. This is this is a Super Bowl team. Like, if it's not, I don't know. It's, it was already 99 offense and 99 defense last year. We've only improved. If this team can't win the Super Bowl, I don't know what can. Jaguars in the divisional, led by Leonard Fournette. Here we go. Simulating, please, Raiders, can we win? We do. Now we face the Chargers in the conference championship who beat us last year. We're going to advance to the Super Bowl. 
winner of this game clearly goes to the Super Bowl. Can we get revenge on the Chargers? And we do to face the Saints in Dallas. They're 9-6-1. We're 95 overall, which is just special teams. We're clearly way better. But here we go. Let's go, Raiders. How are the Saints out to an early lead? What is this world that we live in? We get a field goal. That's fantastic. What an exciting Super Bowl. I would shoot myself in the brains if this was a Super Bowl. We're out to lose 17-3 to the Saints in the Super Bowl. Fuck Sean Payton. What is, what is this? I'm skipping this. They're they're bringing down silver and black confetti. It's, dude, that shows the NFL is not rigged. But kind of is. They prepared the Saints confetti in Raiders colors. What? I don't even know, man. Like, this was a sick team. Clearly 99 offense, 99 defense. And we still don't win the Super Bowl. That's pretty tough. But... Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.